99% of people consume this every day without realizing they're feeding cancer cells. It's a shocking statistic, but it's true. The vast majority of people are unknowingly putting their health at risk by eating a common food that has been shown to fuel the growth of cancer cells. But what exactly is this harmful food? And how can you protect yourself? That's exactly what we'll uncover in this eye-opening video. Hey there, health enthusiasts. In this video, we're going to dive deep into the science behind the most harmful food that feeds cancer and how you can make simple changes to your diet to protect your health. First things first, let's talk about the elephant in the room, sugar. You might be thinking, but wait, isn't sugar just a harmless treat? Well, not quite. Studies have shown that cancer cells actually feed on sugar to grow and multiply. In fact, cancer cells have a much higher demand for glucose compared to normal cells, which means they gobble up sugar at an alarming rate. This is because cancer cells have a different metabolic process than healthy cells, relying heavily on glycolysis to produce energy even in the presence of oxygen. But it's not just any sugar that's the problem. Refined sugars, like the kind found in processed foods, soft drinks, and baked goods, are the real culprits. These sugars are quickly absorbed into the bloodstream, causing a rapid spike in insulin levels. And guess what? Insulin is like a growth hormone for cancer cells. It helps them divide and multiply faster than ever before. So what can you do to protect yourself? The answer is simple. Cut back on refined sugars and processed foods. Instead, focus on whole, nutrient-dense foods like fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins. These foods are packed with cancer-fighting antioxidants, fiber, and essential vitamins and minerals that can help keep your body strong and healthy. But sugar isn't the only food that can feed cancer. Another major player is processed meats, like hot dogs, bacon, and deli meats. These meats are often loaded with preservatives, like sodium nitrite, which can form cancer-causing compounds called nitrosamines when exposed to high heat. In fact, the World Health Organization has classified processed meats as a group one, carcinogen, meaning there is strong evidence that they can cause cancer. So what's the solution? Opt for fresh, unprocessed meats instead. Choose grass-fed beef, free-range chicken, and wild-caught fish whenever possible. These meats are not only lower in harmful additives, but also higher in beneficial nutrients, like omega-3 fatty acids, which have been shown to have anti-inflammatory and cancer-fighting properties. Another food group to watch out for is refined carbohydrates, like white bread, pasta, and rice. These foods are quickly broken down into sugar in the body, causing the same insulin spike and cancer cell growth that we talked about earlier. Plus, they're often low in fiber and other essential nutrients, leaving you feeling hungry and unsatisfied. Instead, choose whole grain options like brown rice, quinoa, and whole wheat bread. These foods are higher in fiber, which can help regulate blood sugar levels and keep you feeling full and satisfied. Plus, they're packed with cancer-fighting nutrients, like vitamin E, selenium, and lignans. But it's not just about what you eat, it's also about how you cook it. High heat cooking methods like grilling, frying, and broiling can create harmful compounds called heterocyclic amines, HCAs, and polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, PAHs. These compounds have been linked to an increased risk of several types of cancer, including breast, colon, and prostate cancer. So what's the solution? Opt for gentler cooking methods like baking, steaming, and stir-frying instead. These methods not only reduce the formation of harmful compounds, but also help preserve the nutrients in your food. Plus, they're often quicker and easier than high heat methods, making them a win-win for your health and your busy lifestyle. But wait, there's more. Another food group to watch out for is dairy products, especially those that are high in fat and hormones. Some studies have suggested that the hormones in dairy products, like insulin-like growth factor 1, IGF-1, may promote the growth of cancer cells. 
Plus, many dairy products are high in saturated fat, which has been linked to an increased risk of several types of cancer, including breast and colon cancer. So, what's the solution? Choose low-fat or non-dairy alternatives instead. Opt for almond milk, coconut milk, or soy milk instead of cow's milk. Choose low-fat or non-fat yogurt and cheese whenever possible. And if you do choose to eat dairy, look for products that are organic and hormone-free. But it's not just about avoiding harmful foods, it's also about incorporating cancer-fighting foods into your diet. Some of the best cancer-fighting foods include berries. Berries are packed with antioxidants like vitamin C, anthocyanins, and elagic acid, which can help protect your cells from damage and reduce inflammation in the body. Plus, they're low in sugar and high in fiber, making them a great choice for a healthy snack or dessert. Leafy greens. Leafy greens like spinach, kale, and collard greens are loaded with cancer-fighting nutrients like folate, vitamin K, and chlorophyll. Plus, they're low in calories and high in fiber, making them a great addition to any meal. Cruciferous vegetables. Cruciferous vegetables like broccoli, cauliflower, and Brussels sprouts contain powerful compounds called glucosinolates, which have been shown to have anti-cancer properties. Plus, they're high in fiber and low in calories, making them a great choice for weight management. Turmeric. Turmeric is a spice that contains a powerful compound called curcumin, which has been shown to have anti-inflammatory and anti-cancer properties. Plus, it's easy to incorporate into your diet by adding it to soups, stews, and curries. Green tea. Green tea is packed with antioxidants called catechins, which have been shown to have anti-cancer properties. Plus, it's a great alternative to sugary drinks and can help boost your metabolism and aid in weight loss. By incorporating these cancer-fighting foods into your diet and avoiding harmful foods like refined sugars, processed meats, and high-fat dairy products, you can take a proactive approach to protecting your health and reducing your risk of cancer. But don't just take my word for it. The science is clear. What you eat can have a profound impact on your health and your risk of chronic diseases like cancer. In fact, a study published in the Journal of the National Cancer Institute found that a diet high in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains was associated with a lower risk of several types of cancer, including breast, colon, and prostate cancer. Another study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that a diet high in processed meats was associated with an increased risk of colorectal cancer, while a diet high in fish and poultry was associated with a lower risk. And a study published in the journal Cancer Prevention Research found that a diet high in refined carbohydrates was associated with an increased risk of breast cancer, while a diet high in whole grains was associated with a lower risk. The evidence is clear. What you eat matters when it comes to cancer prevention. By making simple changes to your diet, like cutting back on refined sugars and processed foods and incorporating more whole, nutrient-dense foods, you can take a proactive approach to protecting your health and reducing your risk of cancer. But it's not just about what you eat, it's also about how you live. Other lifestyle factors, like regular exercise, stress management, and getting enough sleep, can also have a profound impact on your health and your risk of chronic diseases like cancer. So, what's the bottom line? Take control of your health by making simple changes to your diet and lifestyle. Cut back on harmful foods like refined sugars, processed meats, and high-fat dairy products. Incorporate more cancer-fighting foods like berries, leafy greens, and cruciferous vegetables into your diet. And don't forget to take care of yourself by getting regular exercise, managing stress, and getting enough sleep. By making these simple changes, you can take a proactive approach to protecting your health and reducing your risk of cancer. And who knows that you might just inspire others to do the same. So, what are you waiting for? Start making changes today and take control of your health for a brighter, healthier future. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks on living your best, healthiest life. Until next time. 
Stay healthy, stay happy, and keep on fighting the good fight against cancer.